All right, in this MySQL Intermediate tutorial, we'll be going over case statements inside of our selects. This is a replacement video for the last video, which had terrible video and audio quality. So without further ado, we'll get into it. So we're going to be selecting from table two, where we have uh, these counter numbers. The, the numbers under the counter is what we're going to be focusing on, uh, 1, 5, 9, 20, and 99. So better done than said, so we'll go ahead and start. We're going to start with select star, sorry, star, um, and we're going to open up, uh, well, let's end it also from table two. So in the middle, we're going to, after our star comma, we're going to add um, our case statement. We're going to say case counter, because we're focusing on the counter for this table. When one, then one in text. We're going to follow through the rest of these the same way. When 5, then 5. When uh, 9, then 9. When 20, then 20. And for the last one, a special case, uh, we're going to actually, not a special case, we're just going to do an else statement. So if it's not any of these, we're going to say else. We're going to uh, put out too high and we're gonna turn this into a field name so we don't have this big case thing inside our field name we're gonna say as result so let's go ahead and run that uh, we get an error uh, because uh, I forgot to put end so once we end it and we press go you'll see that the text corresponds to the number 5599202099 is too high and 11. So that's basically it for case statements and how you can use the case statements inside of your select to alter your output data. Um, you can use this in big things where you need to say you're at your job, you need to export an Excel sheet with specific data that you have but it needs to be worded differently and rather than manually changing it all we can do it right here in this case statement so uh... that's pretty much it for selecting case statements um, Yeah.